So the Betfred International Stakes is next in, and this one has got a huge field. And will be some horror stories here. It's only seven furlongs, so it's on the straight track. The top one is Anquing Abbasabartis for Vinnie Gerard. Totally running for Django. Darham Fire for Doug Warren. Low Point David Robertson. Larwood Silver for Doug Warren. Antioch Gold Digger. And Wuhum Brabantensium for Vinnie Gerard. How has Vinnie Gerard got three horses in this race? King Charles Hans Jones. Harpoon Stu Gray. Charisma Hans Jones. Hummingbird Carl Arrogante. Pretty Vacant Darren House. How do it know? Obi Wan, Dino's Bino, Graham Clutterbuck, Tree to Leech, Stu Gray, Zero, Kevin Meanahan, Rattle and Hum for Graham Clutterbuck, following you, Martin Lidham, Zalvinus, Alex Cherry, Purple Indigo, Carl Aragante, Middleton Beat, Alex Cherry, Rolling Thunder, Kevin Meanahan, Fred Me Up, James Follis, and Latomoli for Darren Howe. So 24 then, and somehow Vinnie Gerard's managed to get three runners in when you're not allowed more than two. So they're off and racing, and not sure what we do about it. I don't think it's worth rerunning it just for the sake of one extra horse in a race, but. We'll see what happens. They're going to split into at least three groups here, and it's going to be difficult to get everybody's name in. So, apologies if you get missed at the moment. Zalvinus and King Charles look to be clear, and the, it's, a, it's a wide angle view. So, I'm going to have to use the names up the top, which I don't normally do. So, I don't know which one's which because they're too far away. So, it's Zalvinus and King Charles looks like Purple Indigo and Hummingbird, one on one side of the track, one on the other. The yellow jacket of Totally running is up the centre of the track. Zero and rolling thunder. Again, one's on the near side, one's up the centre of the track. Not sure which one's which. Then Harpoon, Charisma and Low Point. Antioch Gold Digger somewhere near. Towards the back, Rattle and Hum is last. Then into the final three furlongs. And Zalvinus on his near side is in front. Totally running is in second. Zero up the centre of the track is third now. Humming Bird, I think that's right over on the far side with King Charles. Charisma, Antioch Gold Digger somewhere there as well. But it's Zalvinus in the lead. Zalvinus now being pressed by Totally running. The near side have got the at the moment, it's Zalvinus from totally running into the final furlong. Zalvinus in front, totally running now. Hits the front as a wall of three at the centre of the track, trying to challenge, but totally running on this near side. It's still in front. Antioch Gold is trying to close, but it looks like it's going to be totally running, totally running just about. Takes it, I think, as a wall of horses challenging all across the track. Anquing Avatia Batis was pulled up, so Vinny won about three, but one of them pulled up, so that doesn't matter. Totally running then for Django is the winner. True to Leap for Stu Gray was second. Antioch Gold Digger for Vinny. Gerald was third, Charisma for Hans Jones fourth, Dino's Bino for Graham Clutterbuck was fifth, bit of a messy race all over the place um, that'll do me for the day I think, oh, well let's do take you through to the end of the day